Hi, and thanks for checking out this video on Adobe InDesign CC, which I've been using since it first came out a long time ago. I'm a qualified teacher. I'm an Adobe ACI. I've got five books in print. I've got the ACE qualification in these three programs. And this is my own company, tunnelvisionltd.co.uk. If you go to that website, you'll find links to the full course on Udemy and Skillshare and lots of other stuff. And I hope you like it. And if you do, please sign up. In this video, I'm going to show you the stroke window. So I'll go and open it. And then I'm going to go get the line tool and draw a line. Now, what I normally do is I choose the tool, then I set up the colors, then I draw the shape. And for lines, I like to set them up on the control bar. So lines have no fill. For the stroke color, I'm going to give it yellow. And for the weight of the line, I'm going to choose 20 points. Of course, you can choose anything you want. You don't have to choose from the list. You could highlight that number and type in whatever you want. And the style is going to be a solid line. Then I'm just going to click and drag, and there's my line. The weight of the stroke is also shown right here at the top of the stroke window. Then we've got the cap. Now, if I choose the direct selection tool, you'll be able to see this more easily, because now you can see the thin line down the middle which is the actual line I drew, and the anchor point at the end, which is solid, it's selected. And a butt cap means that the end of the line is flush with the anchor point, and that's the default setting. But I could also choose rounded, and you can see that a rounded cap extends beyond the anchor point, and this projecting cap also extends beyond the anchor point, but then it cuts it off square. So those are the three types of line endings you can have. Now for the miter point, I'm going to use the polygon tool. So I'll choose the polygon tool and then click on the page because that means I can tell it how many sides I want. I'm going to go with seven. And let's have a 60% star inset. And there's my shape. And you can see that all of these points are sort of cut off square. Let's make sure it's selected, so I'll go back to the Selection tool. And I'm going to increase the miter limit by clicking on the up arrow. Look at that. Change it to 5, and suddenly I've got points again. So that is what the miter limit does. It gives you your points back. If I draw a rectangle, then I'll be able to show you the corners. So the default corner setting is this one. It's a square corner but I could round it, or I could bevel it. And the default setting is also that the stroke is half inside and half outside the object. But I could set it so that it's all inside the object, all outside the object. Now I'm going to go back to the line. There's lots of different types of line. For instance, there's dotted. And if you've got a dotted line, you could choose a gap color. And you can also change the tint of the gap color. You've got to be a bit careful. The world may not be ready for things like this. And if you do them in your work, you may find yourself unemployed. How about arrows? You can put an arrow at the beginning or at the end of your line. We'll deselect that one. I'll draw another line. This one's going to be black, and it's only going to be four points, like so. So this was the beginning. This was the end. So while it's selected, if I click on the end list here and choose that, there's my arrowhead. The scale windows below allow me to change the size of the arrowhead without changing the size of the line. And again, it's beginning on the left and end on the right. So if I highlight that number and change it to a 2 and press the Tab key, that arrowhead just got twice as big as it was before. I can also change the alignment. In this case, the arrowhead is flush with the end of the line. This one, the arrowhead projects beyond the line like that. 
So you've got a choice, this one or this one. And that's essentially what you can do with the stroke window. So it allows you to really customize any lines or shapes that you've drawn. So I hope that video was really useful to you, and please do let me know what you think. You can contact me through my website at www.tunnelvisionltd.co.uk. Please do. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.